The next case is for a normal distribution, show or prove that quartile deviation equals to two third standard deviation approximately. Quartile deviation means half of the interquartile range or half of the difference between highest quartile and lowest quartile. Yes, quartile deviation equals to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. Okay. Now, first of all, let us draw the diagram. We know that in a normal distribution, mean, mode and median are equal. Mean equals to mode equals to median. And median is nothing. It is our second quartile. So second quartile or medial is exactly in the center of the data. Now first quartile, that is less than Q2. So it can be in the left hand side area. Say X takes value exactly equal to first quartile. And x3, x takes value equals to x3 here. What is actually the interpretation of quartile which divides the entire data into four equal parts containing 25% values. So 25% values from lowest value to q1, 25% value from q1 to q2, 25% values from q2 to q3 and 25% values from Q3 to the highest possible value. So the entire distribution is divided into four parts. Now here X is Q1. That means 25% values are less than this and remaining 75% are more than this and so on. But we are interested in Z score. What should be the value of Z score here? So in the last sum we found that 4.25 of the area Z is 0.67 because this is 0.25 and this is also 0.25 these two are actually our area of interest to find the Z score through reverse process from the table so Z here is minus 0.67 and Z here is plus 0.67 now we know that Z score is X minus mean divided by standard deviation so, minus 0.67 equals to x takes value q1. So, q1 minus mean divided by sigma. Therefore, minus 0.67 sigma equals to q1 minus mu. And therefore, mu minus 0.67 sigma equals to Q1 assign number 1 to this equation. From the right hand side, positive 0.67 equals to Q3 minus mu upon sigma because x takes value Q3 there. Therefore, positive 0.67 sigma equals to Q3 minus mu and therefore mu plus 0.67 sigma equals to Q3, let us assign number 2 to this equation. Now we require to solve these two equations. Equation 2 minus equation 1 because Q3 is greater than Q1. Mu plus 0.67 small sigma equals to Q3. First equation is mu minus 0.67 sigma equals to Q1. From equation 2, we are going to subtract equation 1. So, this mu will take sign negative. Negative into negative, this 0.67 will be now positive and this will be negative. Because this equation is subtracted. Cancellation of positive and negative mu. 0.67 small sigma plus 0.67 small sigma. Just a small say game is there. Don't add 0 0.67 and 0 0.67, but write it in this way. 2 into 0 0.67 small sigma equals to Q3 minus Q1. 
Okay. Now these two will divide Q3 minus Q1. Therefore, 0.67 small sigma equals to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. That is nothing but the quantile deviation. Therefore, 0.67 small sigma equals to quartile deviation. And we know that 0.67 is approximately 2 by 3. Therefore, 2 by 3 small sigma equals to quartile deviation. So, we can say that quartile deviation is equal to 2 thirds standard deviation approximately. Just one thing, don't add 0.67 and 0.67, just write it is two times.